kind of have a head. Let's try that again. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How is everyone doing today? I hope everybody is having a fabulous Wednesday. My name is Teresa. I am the owner and artisan over here at NTS Design Co. And I go live with you guys every Wednesday um, on the YouTube channel. So today we're going to have some fun with some products today. And I started this last night on the Paint Enthusiast group on Facebook with Aaron from Bowtie Treasures. And today I'm going to finish it with you guys and I will be demonstrating some new products from Dixie Bell and it is called the Dixie Shine. So Dixie Shine is like a foil, a gold foil without the mess, which is super amazing. I love the look of gold foil, but I don't like the whole where you have to brush it off and it gets everywhere and it makes a giant mess in your shop and I'm not a really big fan of that. So I'm super excited about this product because it doesn't do that. So what you will need with this product is, um, I made a mess with this already. So here's the stick with me. This is the glue that you apply beforehand. So you're gonna take that glue and you're gonna apply it to your surface that you want to use your Dixie Shine on. And you're gonna wait about 15, 15 minutes, 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes. Um, what does it say on the container? I can read the directions if I didn't cover it with glue. Okay, apply a thin, even layer of stick with me glue to the surface. Um, when the glue has dried, it is transparent and sticky, approximately 15 minutes. So yeah, about 15 minutes. Um, I just tear open just a very little bit, and then I go in with a brush that I don't care about, um, like a little craft brush or something that's not really like expensive or anything like that. And then, um, you want to rinse it out really good immediately afterwards because it will not come out of your brush if not. So you're going to want to rinse that brush out really, really well. Um, or you can just soak it in water and if you're like mid project or something like that, you can absolutely do that. And then you're going to have, you know, the, the colors that this comes in is the copper, silver, and then I'm using the gold today. And so I'm going to um, apply a little bit of a second coat on the top of here um, and apply a transfer on the back, which I thought I had. Where's my transfer? My transfer may have ran away. So we may not get to the transfer because I don't know where it went to. <laughs> anyway, squirrel. So this was painted in the silk all-in-one paint. I did two coats on it except for up here. Um, I'm going to do a second coat on that because I wanted to show you guys the first coat finish, which I think is really important to see the difference between the first and the second coat. And sometimes you can even go back with a third coat and just kind of touch up some areas that need be. So this is a silk all-in-one paint in Oasis. It's a beautiful teal color. Um, I really love this color. It mimics um, Peacock from the Chalk Mineral paint line, paint line. I have my front door painted in this color. Um, I did paint it in Oasis and then seal it in Gator Hide about a year ago, and it has held up perfectly. There's no scratches, there's no chips or anything like that. My door is under a covered porch, so that might have something to do with it. But um, Dixie Bell products definitely can stand up to my household with boys and kids and all of the things. <laughs> so this is a Mother's Day project um, or just whatever you want it to be, honestly. Um, this is a cell phone charging station. Um, I know you really can't tell from here. So it has a little drawer on the bottom and then it has places for you to put your phones and charging for change, all kinds of things back here. You can put stuff um, and it can just kind of be like a little catch all area. So it, I repurposed it because it was brown and I got it on my local Goodwill. So I thought it would just be a fun little thing to do um, to show you just a little craft flip, flip craft flip today. I can't talk today. All right. So let me show you what else you will need. So when you are applying the the um the dixie shine you are going to use a finishing pad so dixie bell sells these finishing pads they come this big now you can um use this for so many different things good morning patty how are you today sweetheart thank you for watching me over here on youtube um so this is huge okay I've, i'm i'm a tiny person so i mean that's kind of aggressive for me to use something that big so i cut mine just with scissors i cut mine into thirds so i cut it into thirds so that way I can do, um, like when I apply my transfers, I can go over my transfer and get any of the little gummy pieces or something that may have laid on there. And just to make sure that it's burnished really good and it lays flat. Um, you can use it with a stick with me. You also can use your finishing pad on your finished piece of furniture to just kind of buff out anything that just might be stuck to your surface. You may want to use it this, if you're going to use it on a dresser or something like that. But for, um, purposes for today, I cut it into thirds just because it is much easier for me to hold because like I said, I have tiny hands. So there's my spiel. Let's get to work. So this has been, I pre-applied this glue um, before I went live because I wanted to show you guys how this product works and not sit here and talk for 15 minutes and have you watch me watch the glue dry. That wouldn't be very fun. So I um, applied this, like I said, just about 15 minutes ago. And what you're going to want to do, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. 
I'm gonna put it on my little fireplace behind me. And I'm gonna try not to touch any of the things that I've already glued. So I will move it to the side. Make sure I can get a good angle. Let me see if I can pull you guys down some because I feel like this angle is kind of weird. I want, there we go. I want you guys to be able to see exactly what I'm doing today and not have everything be all kind of crazy crazy. Okay. So we're going to work on the front of this, okay? And so in order for me to do that, I put glue everywhere. So I have to like not touch it. Okay. I'm going to kind of sit this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. And we'll just catty corner it so that I can work on it and you guys can still see. I think that's a good angle. All right, so I leave the tape on this. I just put the tape back on when I'm done. It just comes with a little piece of tape, nothing crazy. Um, it has two sides, the shiny side and the white side, okay? You're gonna apply it the shiny side down. You're gonna cut a piece to your paper. Um, this lasts forever. Um, it really, like look how thick that roll is. And I've used like, I've used this a lot, okay? So you're gonna get your scissors. I'm just gonna do this little area right here. So I'm just gonna measure out my little area. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut a small piece. And then um, because I'm a weirdo and I don't want it to get everywhere, I just put my tape back on there, okay? So now you're gonna take your, stick with me. Um, glue is on there and then we're gonna use our, this and we're just going to apply it down just like that. And you just wanna just rub it down. You don't have to do anything crazy. Okay, and then you're just going to take your little sponge or sanding pad and you're going to see it come off. Okay, and you don't even have to do it like aggressively. Oh, I did the wrong side. I did that last time too. <laughs> don't pay attention to me. I used the wrong side. I did that last time too. That's too funny. So learn from me. Um, put the white side down. <laughs> ah, never a dull moment in my life. All right, and we're going to rub it down just like that. All right, and then we're gonna lift it off. And then it's gonna have that beautiful glue gold on there, like gorgeous. We're gonna do this again. Is there probably still some glue on here? And just like that. And so this only sticks where the glue is. So if you, like I wanted it on the front, let me show you. Like, so on the front, I wanted it to be kind of like sparse looking, but not everywhere. That's all you have to do. You can just apply your glue wherever, it's not gonna stick. And you can also do different colors too. So say I wanna layer, like gold and copper or silver, or I want to do all of them, you can. So you can start out with just a little bit of glue and then you apply it and then you can apply your more glue and then it will work um, the way that you want it to. All right. And like, that's how pretty that looks. It's so, so pretty. So you can like literally just apply it wherever you want and it just goes wherever you want it to go. It's a really fun product to use. Um, and again, I don't have to worry about like any of the gold leaf getting anywhere and making a mess because this product doesn't require that. You just literally apply it where you want. It's really fun to use. It's kind of therapeutic. So you just stick it down, rub it, and then do that. So that's pretty much that whole little sheet is used up. So I'm going to grab another little sheet and we're going to go on the front. And then I'm going to grab that other side. So we're just going to play today. We're just going to play and we're going to hang out. Um, if you guys are just popping on, let me know where you're watching from. Say hello. Don't be shy. Okay, I'm going to grab a bigger piece, stick that right there, and I'm going to apply it to the front. All right, and then I think I always do this, like, which side did it go? Oh, it's this side, I think. Don't mind me, guys. All right, there we go. I just want to get this little area right here that I don't want it to, I don't want to forget about it. So now I'm going to apply this big strip right here to the front. So I put glue all the way across and you don't have to worry about it being flat or anything. It did, like seriously, there's so much room for error in this thing. It's kind of hard to mess up. So you're just going to apply it down. I'm going to grab my little corner. And I'm just going to peel it off. And look at that. Look at so shiny and pretty. And there's still some on here. So I can come back on the other side. All right, I'm going to grab our little pad. We're just going to rub and we're gonna pull it off. And you can keep doing that until you have all of your product off of this little strip. And it will be clear, obviously, once that's done. So you can make it as heavy as you want or as sparse as you want. It really doesn't matter. It's completely up to you. This product is super fun to use. 
I really enjoy it. If you guys have any questions about it, drop them in the messages and I will answer them. All right, we're gonna come down here on the bottom and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna rub it on. And we're gonna pull it off and then I'm gonna tip this up because I did put glue on the bottom part. And like, you don't even really need that thing. You can just like rub it with your fingers and seriously, it just comes right off. It wants to stick to this. It's super fun. Um, you can find this at your local retailers. So our local retailers are super important. You want to make sure that you can go on the Dixie Bell page and you can click find a retailer in your upper left-hand corner. You type in your zip code and it will show you everywhere that you have a local retailer. So that way you can go and buy all these products in with your local retailer. Our local retailers are very knowledgeable in our products. They're amazing. A lot of the places will have to like classes where you can take classes to use these products. Um, so that, that you can learn how to. They do all kinds of fun things. So you just have to search in your area and find who your local retailer is, go make friends with them, and then you get to play with all the products as well. All right, so let me see. It's still sticky right there, so I know that I need to put more on right here. If it lets me. There we go. We're gonna just rub that on. This is usually a lot easier because I'm facing it, but for camera reasons, I am not. So it's just what we're doing today. We're hanging out and playing with some gold, shiny, pretty things, all of the pretty things. And then you're just going to touch to see if there's anywhere where there's still adhesive, wherever there is adhesive is where we're going to make sure that we get that on there. And then you can just top coat this like normal with your satin clear coat um, to make sure that your product is sealed nicely. Yeah, put that stuff on there. All right, I'm just making sure there's still some glue there. And you're just going to want to touch. You just touch your product, see if there's any glue left over. And wherever it's still sticky is where it will lay some more of that pretty shiny stuff. All right, and then I'm going to come back up here and just kind of, like you can see, I'm just using my thumb. You can really just use your fingers if you want to as well. It is not that hard. Like I said, this wants to really stick to this product. That glue is really sticky. And if you guys follow me, you guys know I hate sticky stuff on my hands. It's like literally like a cat with tape on her paws when I'm trying to apply this glue. Like I don't want to get glue anywhere on my hands at all. And so there's still some more product left on this one. So I'm gonna come back and grab this one again. And you just wanna use it all up. I'm gonna rub that on with our little pad. And then touch to see if there's anywhere that I've missed where it is still sticky. So you guys get the gist, right? This is super fun. Like it's just like a little, a little glow up for what it was. I'll have to show the before pictures because it was not as pretty. It was just that weird like brown. I don't know. Everything is painted that color brown these days. I feel like, like rooms to go furniture brown. If that's a thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right, now I'm just gonna pick this back up. I'm gonna touch to make sure that I got it all and I'm gonna tip you guys up. See how pretty that is? I think that's really pretty. And I did these little areas too. I'm gonna leave this part flat or not shiny just because I feel like there's a lot of bling everywhere. And then I'm gonna, once I finish this, I'm gonna show you guys the co one coat coverage of the silk paint because I get a lot of questions about that. Um, the silk paint is really amazing. It has got phenomenal coverage, um, even for just one coat. Now, I do recommend doing more than one coat, um, but I guess sometimes you can kind of get away with it with just one coat. I sell all my stuff, so I obviously will use primer and more than one coat of paint and top coat because that's just what I do, but you can definitely get away with it. And it lasts a long time. All right, so there's that. Let's get to the top part up here. This is so fun. It's very um, satisfying and it doesn't require a lot of skill. You just literally lay it down 
So if you're new to Dixie Belle and you're trying to make something look really beautiful, you're not really sure what to do, go ahead and grab you some of this. It is a lot of fun. You just stick it, rub it down, and peel it back off. That is it. And you get amazing results. I like the wow factor. I think wow factors are fun. Like transfers are a big wow factor. Stencils are a big wow factor. Anything that you can apply with ease, it just makes it look so much better. I'm in love with. And I also keyword easy. <laughs> Anything that's easy, let it be easy. All right. There's still some more sticky right there. I can see it. We're just going to apply some more. Rub it down. All right, I'm just touching to see if there's any more sticky. Okay, now let's do the sides without grabbing the sides because they're sticky. Okay, so we're gonna turn it this way and we're gonna grab the side. I'm gonna come catty cornered so I can see what we're doing. I guess I could turn the table and then I'm not like jabbing myself in the ribs. It looks easy. Yeah, it really is. It, it's like, have you used this product before, Patty? I feel like you have. Um, all right. Now, if you're doing a larger area, like say that I'm using like a dresser drawer or something and I want to get more area covered, you can apply that. All right. You can apply your first strip and then you can cut a second strip. The scissors are dull. We're gonna line that up. You can overlap it, it doesn't have to be perfect. So like I said, it, it really wants to stick, okay? So say you're doing a big dresser and you wanna get more of a larger area and not just do little tiny strips at once, you can just apply it overlap it because your glue is going to hold this on. Just use your little sponge or sanding pad or whatever. There we go. And just like that. Okay. And then you can come back in the areas that need more love. Okay. We're going to use it all up. I'm not missing comments. Okay. That's still sticky over there. So I'm put that one over there. So that one's mostly used up, but this one still has a good bit of area on here. And then we're just going to rub it. And that top part's still sticky too. I'm going to come up here. That's still sticky. Get this little piece over here because there's still some on here. How fun is this? This is like the funnest thing ever. I literally could sit here and do this for an hour. It makes me happy. Little effort. And it looks super pretty. Okay, that's all covered. And I'm going to bring you guys in closer on this. So that's what that looks like on the side. And that's the front. And then that's the top. So it's just, it's super cool, right? Like I just, it looks like I spent a long time on this. And I, and I really didn't. All I did was paint it last night to coat of paint, which took like no time at all. And we're just doing the stick with me on it. So I'm going to come back or stick with me. I keep calling it stick with me. It is called Dixie Shine. The glue is called stick with me. All right. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to measure out a little strip. Okay. All right. And I'm going to just lay it down. And then we're going to measure out one more strip. We can do three on this side if you want to. We'll do three. How about that? We'll just overlap just a smidge. And then we'll do one more on the top part. OK. 
Okay, let me put my tape back on here so it doesn't get all crazy and unroll on me. I'd be sad. And we're gonna put this right here. Okay, so that's three pieces and then we're just gonna use our little finishing pad and we're just gonna rub it on. I lift this up. Getting those little creases. Okay, and we're gonna start here. All right, and then there's still some more on that top part, so we're just gonna apply that right back up here. Okay, I got all the glue from there. All that glue is done, and all that glue is done. See how fun that was? It was super easy, super quick. Like, I just have a couple of strips. There's no glittery mess everywhere. It's not floofing in the air. I don't have to worry about sweeping. I don't have to worry about getting all over my clothes. And I'm just making sure that there's nothing else sticking. And that's it, guys. Like, look how pretty that is. All right? And then the back, obviously. I probably should do the back, but I'll do that later. Um, and so now let me just show you the one coat coverage of the silk paint. So you can kind of see through where I had the silk paint on there. And so I'm just going to touch it up really, really quick. I probably should have grabbed a smaller brush, um, but this one will work. And I already mixed this can up beforehand. So you want to stir it really good because this is an all-in-one paint. So it has the primer and top coat in there and the paint. So you want to make sure that you stir it with a stick, the little stirring stick or popsicle stick, whatever you're going to use. You want to stir it and kind of like lift as you're stirring it. So that way you're getting everything to move around correctly instead of just shaking it. So I'm just going to use my little brush. You don't need to use water with this. Okay. I'm going to tip it up so you guys can see what I am doing. And then I'm just going to come in here. If I get some paint on there, it's fine. I'm not really worried about that. I'll cover it up later or fix it later. All right. And we're just going to come in here and grab and then that second coat of coverage, it's it's full coverage. And then that's really it. I'm barely using any paint on here. I'm such a thin painter. Now you can, with the silk paint, paint heavier than you do with your chalk mineral paint. And you will get better coverage. But I am a creature of habit. And I am such a thin painter. Okay. And we're just going to come on in here and grab our little edges. I'm going to do the back too, because the back definitely needs another full coat. All right. And I may just put a little bit more of that glue down so I can use the Dixie Shine just to kind of, so it's not so empty right there. Or I may just leave it because, I mean, I got it everywhere else, right? But it is super pretty. I really do enjoy this product. Let me just make sure that I'm catching all the little areas that I need to catch. Because when you paint on camera, it's kind of hard to show you everything and do the things. <laughs> so, for those that do go live, understand. All right. And then we're just going to come on over here and grab in there. And then I'm going to show you guys the coverage. It's so pretty. Okay, so that's two coats of coverage. Oh, I missed a spot. Just kidding. I missed a spot. Okay. So two coats of full coverage, and there's no more marks. Now we're just going to paint the back. As you see how, like, splotchy the back is, that's just one coat of paint. I'm going to turn it so that we can both see. So there's a lot of, like, because I primed this with slick stick because this was, you know, it's a slicker surface, and I wanted to make sure that my paint would stick to it. You don't have to. Um, the... Silk all-in-one paint is more than capable of doing it, but like I said, I sell my stuff. So I just wanted to ensure that I had that protection over it. I'm gonna come down so I don't cover my pretty shiny stuff, my pretty glitters. All right, grab a little bit more. Again, I'm using very little paint. And then when this dries, I can apply all my pretty stuff and make it look fab. And if you put too much on there, you can just paint right over it and then you won't even see of the glitter. Well, it's not glitter, but you know what I mean. There, 
I think that's pretty. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cover up my silk because I am notorious for spilling stuff. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pop you guys back up so you guys can see. Isn't that pretty? So you have full coverage, two coats of paint. Um, you can go back with a third coat to spot paint and that's usually what I'll do. And then it just looks super blingy, super cute. Like who wouldn't want to put your stuff in here? It's so pretty, right? I'm loving it. I think it's gorgeous. And I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to cover my glue so that I don't spill it. What I do with my glue, obviously, other than make a mess, is I just peel back a little bit of it so that I can get into it. Otherwise, I didn't want my lid, it's got glue all over my hand, to stick everywhere on there. Um, because sometimes it can make it kind of hard to open if you don't get the glue off the edges, because it is glue. So there's that. So the products that we used today was the Stick With Me, and then we used the Dixie Shine in gold, but it does come in silver and it does come in copper. You can find all these products at your local retailer. So just go ahead and you just go to the Dixie Bell main page, go up to the left-hand corner, you type in find my local retail, or you can go to find my local retailer, type in your zip code, and you'll pop up all of your local retailers in your area. So be sure to support them because they are amazing and we love our retailers and they're super special people that go out of their way and um, help support Dixie Bell. So, <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, that's all I have to show you today. It was kind of a short live. Um, I apologize for that, but this is just, you know, I wanted to show you a fun product and I could have done it on something larger, but I wanted to do a small craft because I also wanted to show you that it doesn't always have to be furniture. You can do fine small crafts like this too. So this is just a cute, fun little gift or something that you can find at Goodwill and kind of zhuzh up inexpensively and make it brand new again for whomever, yourself or a gift. Mother's Day is coming up. So, all right, you guys, I will be live with you guys next Wednesday at 10 a.m. right here on the Dixie Bell YouTube page. So have a wonderful day, you guys. Enjoy it. If it is sunny where you are, go outside and get some fresh air. It's always good for your soul, right? All right, you guys, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.